Welcome back. All right, now what I've decided to do here is uh, I've decided I'm going to build my fire today out of the fat wood that I get out of this limb. Now I haven't cut into it yet, but I am that confident that there was fat wood in that limb because I have searched it out before. This is the kind of limb that I'm looking for that has fat wood in it, and this is a pine tree. So uh, just I'm going to build my fire out of the fat wood that I find in here. And then over on the other side, I found uh, a couple of cedar trees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a nest uh, with the bark that's on that white cedar. I'm going to light this, then I'm going to put this into my cedar nest, and that's how I'm going to get my fire built today. So I just wanted to bring you on so you to see. I want to use stuff that we find out here uh, every time I build a fire. Uh, because it is here and it is important to learn how to use what's out here and it's important to learn what to what to look for Because it is that handy to find as long as it's like going to a refrigerator You know what a gallon of milk is you take out a gallon of milk and you have a glass of milk. It's that simple It's the same thing when you're in the outdoors. It's just like opening up the refrigerator if you come out here and you know what you're looking for, uh, you know what a potato is, you know what a gallon of milk is, out here is the same thing. Learn what fat wood is, learn what punk wood is, and then it's out, open in the refrigerator. Open up, take your punk wood, open it up, take your fat wood. Open it up, take your cedar bark. So it's, it's that simple. I realize that on YouTube and on other stations, they kind of make it more complicated than it really is. Just learn what they are, practice your craft, and it is that simple. Everyday skills that you have at home, you can bring out here and turn them into the skills that you need to uh, have, a, have a good day out here, a comfortable day, thriving day. Have fun when you're out here. So, enough of that. I'm just gonna take this limb. <laughs> this is a beautiful limb. This is a pine limb off that pine tree. I hope it's not, I hope you can see that. Right in there, all that red, see that circle? That circle of red? That's all fat wood. You can smell it. It's a foot away from my nose and I can smell it. It's good quality fat wood. So, one limb, one tree all the fire I need. We will build a fire with this limb. Welcome back. <laughs> this is that piece of uh, fat wood that we harvested off that pine tree. I've got my wood pile together, I've got my twigs together, but I wanted to show you that the fat wood that we're using is coming off this this log right here. This, I'm not log, but this limb. Now what I keep in my pack this, this is just down in the bottom of my pack, real light, real easy, it rounds so I don't feel it in there. This is a side of a 55 gallon plastic drum, just a little piece I keep down there for in the winter time. I drag this out and it makes a really good table to uh, scrape my fat wood onto or whatever I'm working with. I'm going to start out and make sure you can see. I'm going to start out with just getting the bark off here. It's nothing that I need. You can see right there. See that red? That is, is perfect, perfect fat wood. Handy. In the woods. Just waiting for me to pick it up. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this little piece here to get my fat wood. Well, maybe. It's slippery. <laughs> that, that log. Everything's covered with ice. Beautiful fat wood. I guess you really can't see though, can you? <laughs> well, let me spin around. Now 
How is that? That better? All right. I take this. You can use the back side of your knife. I use that in a minute. But right now, I just want some big chunks. Because what I'm going to do with these chunks is I've gone out and I've scraped off some uh, with the back side of my knife, the 90 degree edge. I've gone out and already scraped off some cedar bark. So all I got to do now is just get a little fat wood here. And sometimes, most of the time, you can light cedar bark uh, without fat wood. But in today's case, everything's a little bit moist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fertilize my cedar bark with this, uh, this fat wood. So now that I've got that, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 90 degree end of my knife. And I'm just going to scrape the end of this. And all I'm doing is getting some fine shavings for my, for my tinder bundle. You see that? All the fat wood you want. Good fat wood, nothing wrong with that. Right out here, right out here in the great outdoors. Just waiting. Just waiting for us to pick it up. Alrighty, so I got that. And you can see I got my, I've chopped off some fat wood there. I'm gonna turn the camera around and go over to where we're gonna have the fire. And then I will light, I will light this, this fat wood and dump it into my, uh, my cedar bundle. It is winter time. Grasses are hard to come by. Uh, we did go through the, the cattail swamp there. But today's little exercise for me is cedar bark, fat wood, uh, and on my pile of fat wood. I mean my pile of, of firewood for building my lunch fire. So I will be right back with you. All right, you should be able to see that I've got a fire base there. I've got lots of twigs, uh, and I've got my, my, my little bit of cedar that's over there. So now we're going to light the fat wood, put it into the cedar nest, and then go from there. All right, I got my fire steel. I got my fat wood. I am going to... Uh, rough up this cedar just a little bit more what I did was I took the, the spine of my knife and got my uh, got the real fine stuff off them trees so it makes for quite a nest but if you feel it it's just a little bit damp today so I will wrap it up in that and once I get that fat wood lit now we could put we could put a piece of chagger in here and do the same thing we could put a piece of chagger in here and do the same thing. I'm going to tip that camera up. Uh, I can tell it's going to be a terrible angle for what I want to do. There you go, there's the fat wood, right out of the woods, no fuss, no muss. Take your time. I want that stuff to just catch in there.
Don't smother it at this point. Let it grow. Let it grow. See how easy that was? You thought it was going to go out, didn't you? <laughs> Don't smother it. Let it lap up through there. Everything's under control. You've, I've already got this. You've got this and stuff in, ready to go. That's how easy it is to build a fire. I see on YouTube, a lot of people say, <coughs> you never know if you can get a fire built or not. You can get a fire built every single time you try. It just takes a little bit of practice. I have been building fires for 50 years. It is not difficult. You just have to have your stuff ready. Realize what some of the materials are and your campfire will go. I've heard guys say no guarantee get a fire belt. <laughs> there better be a guarantee or you're not much of a woodsman. So I'm going to turn the camera off here for a minute, gather some more firewood, and I'm going to get my deer meat ready to throw on uh, once this burns down just a little bit. There's our stick of fat wood. It's easy to come by. I'm not going to save it. I'm going to throw it into my campfire here and it will become part of my campfire today. So uh, I hope you learned something with uh, the fat wood and the cedar. It is in the main forest. Uh, real easy to come by, uh, especially in a swamp. Swamps are known for their cedar trees. Uh, I'm going to shut off now, let this simmer down, and then uh, I will get some deer steak out, some potatoes, bake some potatoes, season up my deer steaks, and uh, I am going to have a swamp lunch today, uh, fit for a king. So thank you for joining me, and I will bring you back in a few moments. Welcome back. I wanted to thank you for joining me today out here in the swamp. Uh, I'm just, you saw I got a fire built there. But I, what I wanted to point out is that I have a fire bag with me. And the fire bag, I've, I've had it, I could put a link to it in, uh, in the bottom of the description here. But in my fire bag, I have everything I need to start a fire. But I don't tie into that bag unless I have to. There's, there's birch bark in there and there's other fire starters. Like I said, I'll put a link to it so you can see what I keep in my fire bag. But I was able to harvest uh, within a few feet of where this campfire is uh, everything I needed uh, to, to build a fire. As I said earlier, knowing what's in the refrigerator is half the battle. Uh, finding that piece of fat wood on that pine tree gave me the fat wood that I needed to put into my bundle of, uh, of white cedar bark. Uh, the fine shavings, knowing how to harvest them shavings so that they'll work in a fire like that having your twigs and stuff ready. Uh, within just a, f a few minutes of gathering my stuff, I was able to have that fire is two feet tall right now. And I put a layer of, of logs on the bottom. And what that's gonna do for me is, as this burns down, it's gonna create a really nice bed of coals. I won't have to touch that fire. Uh, probably the rest of the time I'm here cooking my lunch, I'm, I plan on being here a couple of hours. 
Uh, it'll take me probably half hour or so just to bake the potato. Uh, I intend on enjoying the swamp today. So I will turn you to the fire later on as things are cooking. But right now we're just uh, allowing the fire to, to kind of percolate there and turn from a flame into coals. So uh, thanks a lot for coming along. Uh, it is a nice day out here in the swamp today. A little bit chilly, uh, but, but nothing, nothing too awful bad. I think it's something like 10 degrees, something like that. But as you can see, I don't, I don't dress too heavily anyways. Uh, you will see even when I ice fish, I don't wear too awful much more than this. Uh, I do not look like I fell out of an L.L. Bean catalog, let me tell you that. But I'm always a little bit nervous of people that look like they fell out of a catalog with all the, uh, you know, the pretty clothes and all that. Not that I'm knocking it. I like nice clothes too. But it's been my experience that the man that knows the most out in the woods and, and the one you'd probably want to follow uh, doesn't look like uh, he fell out of a magazine or out of, a, out of an L.L. Bean catalog or Gander Mountain catalog and fell into the woods. Uh, the men that I know, uh, they dress like woodsmen, and they act like woodsmen, and they have the skills of woodsmen. Uh, so those are the guys that I kind of tag along with, and the guys that I kind of find to go out and do this stuff with. Uh, it is a big piece of woods up here. Uh, it takes uh, a little bit of knowledge so that you can thrive and just plain be comfortable. So enough of that, and uh, I'm going to enjoy this fire. <laughs> so. I will bring you back every now and then to check on my steak and check on my progress. Brought you in real quick. You can see I got my deer, my uh, deer meat is on the spick. I've got a couple of baked potatoes in the fire and uh, all I've done is put up a little crotch stick there, driven back into the snow bank and, and I will turn them and I am going to have deer steak. To me, uh, if you put too much seasoning on a deer steak, uh, you probably don't like deer meat. Save your seasoning for your beef and your pork. Uh, cook this stuff right off the bone and uh, enjoy that wild flavor that you cannot get from store-bought meat. He's a cooking. The men pieces are almost finished. Hey Kenny, <laughs> I know you watch my videos, so I just want to say, hey, here's some deer steak. Ah, uh, wish you was here. <laughs> so, just gonna rub it in just a little bit. Hey Kenny. Hey, I'd like to also say hi to my two grandsons, Joshua and Caleb. Caleb, Joshua, this is what Papa does. When you get a little bit older, I would like to bring you out and have you enjoy a campfire like this. Uh, with uh, deer meat and all that, maybe some rabbit. You just got a couple more years to go and then you'll be able to join Papa. So, <laughs> love you guys and we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Well, welcome back. Uh, I guess this is going to have to wrap up this video on out in the swamp by uh, cooking deer steaks and all that. Uh, I am going to cook my deer steaks and I'm going to have my baked potato. But the problem that I've run into is that I grabbed the wrong memory cards today uh, in my camera. Uh, I, ha I thought I had 32 gigabyte cards. Uh, my camera takes two cards. Uh, the yellow light just flashed on that I have five minutes left uh, on the card. So I apologize for that. And uh, I will, <laughs> we will have to cook some deer steaks another time. So 
Again, I apologize and I will have to see you on the next one. And this will wrap up this video on cooking deer steaks. <laughs>